Hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create the Tron light trail effect. Here's an example uh, from, an, from an animation I created about uh, maybe 18 months ago or so. So it's not great, but uh, you can see the effect. It's uh, this section here. I'm going to be showing you how to create. So in uh, Cinema, I just set up a very simple scene. It's just a, a light cycle flying past the camera. Okay, so how you set this up is you first of all need to do all your animation and then after you're finished, you can then set up um, the trail. And uh, here's how you do it. So my uh, animation is on this knoll and the knoll is carrying the geometry of uh, this uh, light cycle model. What I'm going to do is to go to frame zero and I will create a new null and I want this null object to be exactly where this uh, other null object is. So a quick way of doing that is to click the object that you want to attach the other object next to, hold AOT and then when you insert a new object while holding AOT, it will automatically be put as a parent of the object that you currently have selected. But more importantly, it will have the <coughs> excuse me, it will have the same attributes uh, for position and rotation. So if I then remove this, it's called this uh, light cycle. This is the new null object we have just created. It's in the exact same spot as the other null. And then what I can do from here then is position this uh, at the back of the of, at the back of the light cycle here, and then make this a child of the light cycle as well. So now, whenever the light cycle moves, that new null object is going to move with it. Okay. So with the new null object selected, let's call this the trail. We can go to more graph and then tracer. And uh, if you didn't have that selected, you just need to go to the tracer and then under trace link, you want to trace the uh, the null object that you have uh, you have used. And I want to play through this. You're going to see a white line being drawn behind um, my light cycle. And uh, we can use this with um, sweep nerves to generate some geometry. So if I go to sweep nerves, I can also get a rectangle, which is uh, all the way over here, and set the width to maybe just five and the height to maybe just 50. And then drop this uh, rectangle and the tracer into the sweep nerves. And when you do that, you will create some geometry behind your light cycle. And I can just maybe drop one of these materials onto here. So now what happens is, as the bike moves, it draws behind a light trail. So those are the basics. You can uh, go in and refine it, you can rotate it, and uh, you can do all of this with uh, the details section of uh, the sweep nerves, so I can add more rotation in the middle, like this over here. I don't really know why you would want to do this, but um, let's say that the uh, the bike was turning. Uh, you would probably want this to turn with it. Uh, although for that, I would actually advise turning uh, either the rectangle or the tracer itself and not this control here, because this is mapped across the entire thing and when you when you look at this it's kind of just stretching it as it goes along and that's not really uh, that realistic or oh, and another thing you cannot rewind uh, with the tracer you will just keep drawing more traces uh, like I'm doing right now so this will only work in one direction at a time and then you have to reset you cannot sort of scrub through and try again but uh, that's it. That is how you create the Tron light cycle effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. 